Evangelist B. Medlin's Faith Time is now on the air. For a real blessing to your heart, write to Evangelist B. Medlin at Post Office Box 6125, Akron, Ohio, 44312. That number again, Evangelist B. Medlin, Post Office Box 6125, Akron, Ohio, 44312. And now, here is one of America's most loved evangelists, B. Medlin. Hello there, and welcome to our faith time today. And I trust that you've been waiting for me and that you're ready to be blessed by God. Well, you know, our God is a great God, and He is moving in this hour. And if you need a blessing today, you just get ready because we're going to preach you happy, sing you happy today. So look up and remember that Jesus Christ is concerned about you. Well, thanks for your mail. Now, I appreciate your offering so very much. You know, I'm glad that you love Jesus too. And, you know, there's others that they just view the program and they go on their way and say, oh, the program was good. But thank God for you that love Jesus enough to send in your tithes and your offering. And may the Lord bless you real good. And remember, for all the souls that we reach, the sick bodies that are healed, and people that are blessed, you are our gospel partner. So keep the mail coming in. Don't you fail because I'm dependent on you. And for those of you that write in and send us an offering for these TV programs, I'm going to send you one of the eight-track tapes, Beware the Angel, and Behold, He Comes Quickly. Beware of the Angel. And you know, if there ever was a time that people should beware of the angel of God, it's now. Because after all, uh, he said it, they were ministering spirits sent forth to minister to those that are heirs of salvation. So today, if you don't have this eight-track tape, be sure and write in, Beware of the angel, and behold, he comes quickly. And many have been stirred by the tape, and you can just enjoy it. It'll be just like being in the services. Uh, and it'll make you think about the ministering spirits of God. And they are sent forth to minister to you and I that are heirs of salvation. And you know, David said, The angel of the Lord encamp round about those that fear the Lord and deliver them. So remember, all of you that sends in that nice offering for our TV program, we're going to send you the eight-track tape free. And so we'll be waiting for your mail. God bless you. Brother Lane's here today. And Brother Lane's going to be singing and playing for you right now. Just whatever the Lord's laid on his heart. God bless you, Brother Lane, as you play.
reality. And one day, I'm going to that city whose builder and maker is God. And you know, there's many people today, they're bound by sin, trouble, and they don't have joy and peace, and they're not thinking about heaven. But you know, one day, to the saints of God, it's a reality. And I'm looking forward to going to that city and live with Jesus Christ forever. Many times people don't want to go to the house of God and stay a few hours. Well, if you don't want to go to God's house and stay a few hours, you certainly wouldn't want to spend the endless ages with Jesus Christ. But you know, he's my life. He's my love. He's my refuge. He's my all. And you know, I'm so thrilled because one day Jesus Christ came into my heart and into my life. That was the greatest thing that ever happened to me when I found Jesus or when he found me. And it's been joy and peace. Sure, I have my battles. But you know, every battle, every trial, and every temptation that I go through makes me just a little bit strong. Your battles, they'll make you or they'll break you, one of the two. Well, I'm glad because I allowed the battles to make me. And by the way, I guess you noticed today that Brother Bob wasn't with us. Well, I miss him too. But you know, Brother Anthony's on the drum. And Brother Anthony's been a great blessing and a great help. And he's played for me for many years. And I just appreciate him. And he's doing a great job on these drums. And I'm just thankful that he is with us today. And I'm sure that he's going to be a great blessing and a great help to you as he plays along with Brother Lane in these TV programs. Well, remember, keep the mail coming in. You that haven't written for the magazine, write in for the magazine, and we'll be glad to send it to you free of charge. And also, those of you that would like our ink pen, remember when you send in that offering, we'll send you one of our lovely ink pens. You can get it in blue, pink, or white. One of the two, and it has my name, my address, my phone number, and it tells you that Jesus loves you. So remember, write today. Send in that TV offering, and we'll be glad to send you our own ink pen. And then each time you write, you can just look down and, rem and see the letters, Jesus loves you. So that'll mean a, a lot to you, surely. And by the way, for the children that's in school, you need to have them on these ink pens that they can take it to school, or, you know, on their test. Uh, sometimes they get kind of nervous and wonder what they're going to do. But, you know, they could just look at that ink pen and think about Jesus loving them and caring for them and that he'd help them with their test and their examination. So that don't mean a whole lot. So just remember, keep the mail coming in because you and you and you are the ones that makes these TV programs possible in your area. God bless you. Brother Lane and Brother Anthony is going to play some good number for you. And as they play, just clap your hands, pat your foot, get up and walk the floor and sing along with them if you want to. But as they play, get happy. God bless you.
wonderful. And you know, Brother Anthony, there at first, you know, he's just kind of giving that little slow, silent light. Fun. But I like for him to get in there and give it all that he has. You know, after all, I like it like that. I don't know about you, but you know, when you do anything, I feel like you should do it with all of your might. And that's the way I enjoy music. I like music when you can feel it from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. And you know, in our crusade, we're thankful because this is the way God moves is in our services by us putting our all into it. I don't believe that we should just put half of what we've got into the service and in the work of God, but give it everything you've got. Well, I tell you what, God is really moving in our crusade and multitudes are being saved, healed, and blessed by the power of God. You know, we have so much to thank God for. And you know, many times they only praise God around Thanksgiving, Christmas, some special seasons. But I feel like that we should thank God every week. In fact, every day. Be grateful for the things that God has given us. You know, the Lord has given us so much. We could never praise him enough for all the benefits. David said, what could I render unto God for all of his benefits? Well, I don't know what I could give unto God for all the things that he's done for me. But you know, I intend to keep loving him. I intend to keep praising him and glorifying him every day. I don't know if Brother Lane has that song ready, but I hope that he'll sing Because He Lives. And as he sings Because He Lives, I can face tomorrow, I'm sure that uh, you'll be blessed greatly. And you know, I'll probably have to join him a little bit. Most of the time when he sings this song, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. You, as a usual thing, I have to join in with him. All right, by the way.
Jesus Christ is alive and alive forevermore. I am thankful because we serve not a dead God, but one that's alive. You know, many times people will come into our crusade and they see us clapping our hands and praising God and rejoicing and, you know, they look around and wonder what in the world is going on. For many times they're used to just walking into a church and everything's real quiet, no one moving around, no noise at all. But you know what? I feel that since God is alive, that we should act like he's alive. And you know, God isn't nervous either, so we can clap our hands and praise God and just make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And at this season, you've got a lot to thank God for. If you've got good health today, you have something to be thankful for. But if you're sick today at the end of this program, you get ready for God's going to heal you. Today, I'd like to speak to you from Psalms 95, and read to you from the first verse. Come now, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise unto the Lord of our salvation. Today I want to speak to you of making a joyful noise unto the Lord. Now many people, they make a noise, but it's not too joyful. They're not too excited about the things of God or the power of God. But how can you watch men and women that are bound by sin, bound by sickness, see them change as many of them are drunkards, many of them are alcoholics that said, well, I just, I drink now and then. Some of them said, well, I, I'm not really an alcoholic, I drink. But you know what? Most people that have to drink every day, they're alcoholics. Whether you want to face it or not, you're an alcoholic. And the only way that you can get free is by the power of Jesus Christ. I know that they have different places uh, that they take them and they try to dry them out, so they call. And, uh, but this is not the answer because, you see, they have to be born again. And Jesus Christ came that we could be free from sin, free from sickness. And when you're free from sin and when you're free from sickness, then you're ready to make a joyful noise unto the Lord because, you see, he is the Lord of our salvation and the salvation that you and I are enjoying we've got to realize that it didn't come from man it didn't come from a woman but it came from Jesus Christ Jesus said unto Nicodemus ye must be born again to be born of the spirit of God that means that you become a new creature in Christ Jesus the old things have passed away and the whole all is new joy you know what the children of Israel, they shouted and they praised God, but then there came a time that they stopped praising God. They stopped shouting, and they, there was sickness, there was disease among them. The sickness and the disease among them was not there 
because they had stolen, not there because they had committed murder, not there because they had lied, but the Bible said they were sick because they failed to serve the Lord with gladness of heart and joyfulness. Now you know if you begin to grumble, you begin to complain and mummer each day, then this begins to dry your spirit. The Bible said a mirror of heart doeth good like a medicine. And as you become happy in him, and as you begin to praise him and glorify him, that means that that body of yours will be healthy. There's a lot of people today, they're sick. But if they had worshipped God with all of their heart, soul, mind, and strength, they would have been happy. They wouldn't have given place to the devil. The Bible tells us not to give place to the devil. So don't give place to him. When well, people will say, oh, but Sister Madeline, the devil said this to me and the devil said that. Well, stop listening to the devil. Stop listening to what the devil has to say. Listen to the voice of God. He said, I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee. He said, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So no matter what your disease is today, no matter what your need is, remember that you can recover if you'll put yourself in the hands of God. Now, I'm not against doctors, and I thank God for everything the doctors can do. I'm glad for every operation that they can perform upon men and women to help them. I'm glad for everything that they can give them to stop their suffering. But you know I'm glad because there is a great physician that you can go to that you know that he's going to perform a miracle and that that miracle, when it takes place, he doesn't have to operate. He doesn't have to use any kind of instrument except the power of God in his servant. And when I lay hands on the people, the power of God surges through their body. I do not understand the miracles of God. I do not understand how you can lay your hands upon the blind eyes and they're open. I thought about the one man that had been blind for so long and after I'd laid my hands upon his eyes, took my hands off and he screamed, I can see, I can see. It's not every time that I've touched him. Many times I have just said, Arise in the name of Jesus. Or may your eyes be open in the name of Jesus. And God performs a miracle. It's not by the power of beam heaven. It's by the power of God. That's why many people said, Oh, Sister Madeline, when your TV program's on, we can feel the power of God. You feel the power of God because when we're making these TV programs, the spirit and the power of God is moving and we can feel it. And therefore, when this is on in your area, you can feel the power of God. You can reach out and touch the TV. You can be healed by the power of God. But you know what? The important thing is living it, not just on Sunday, not just once in a while, but living it every day of your life. He said, he that cometh to God must believe that he is God and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So if you're constantly seeking God, he promised to reward you. He promised to give unto you. Some people will go to a service and then they'll go back home and they say, well, just like I thought, I didn't receive anything from the Lord. Well, you see, you got just exactly what you were looking for. You see, the Bible said when you come to God, so if you go to the house of God, you should be expecting a miracle. And if you are expecting a miracle, then you're going to receive it. If you go expecting nothing to happen to you, not anything at all, then you go back home the same way. But you know what? Every child of God, when they go to the house of God it, or, or go to a crusade anywhere, I don't care where it's at, auditorium, tent, wherever it may be, they should go expecting something from God, saying, well, I'm going, and I'm going to be healed. I'm going to be blessed. I'm going to receive something from God. And if you go with that attitude, then you're going to receive. You see, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And if you lose the joy, then you lose your strength. You become just a weak Christian. You become just like other people because you're weak. But as long as we stay happy, as long as we're praising and glorifying him every day of our life, then when we go to the house of God, we don't have to have the preacher to sing us happy. We don't have to have the song director to sing us happy because we're already happy. So when we get there and all the saints of God gathers in, we begin to sing and praise and glorify him. Then when the sinners and the backsliders, they look on and they think, my, these people are really expecting something today. You can go in. I can walk out on the platform anywhere, and I can tell if my audience is really prayed up and if they're really expecting something from God. 
I know this. I can walk out there and see when they're down and out and look like they've lost their best friend and don't care if they get anything from the Lord at all. And you know, many times when I walk out and see the people in that attitude, I just begin to look up and think, oh, God, you've got to move this audience today. God, you've got to bless them. You've got to stir them. You've got to shake them and make them realize that today they've got to expect a miracle. Many times people's in that healing line and they're so amazed when they really get a miracle from God. But you know what? Many people try to work it up in their head. This faith doesn't come from your head. It comes from your heart. The seed of faith is from that heart. The same when you confess your sins. It has to come not from just the head. We have multitudes that confess with their mouth, but then they don't believe in the heart. You've got to confess with your mouth, but you've got to believe in your heart. The same way with your, Sabbath, with your healing, you have actually got to expect the miracle. So right now, I want you to get ready because I'm going to pray for you. And after I pray for you, I want you to get up and begin to praise God for a miracle. I want you to be in the thinking, Father God, we love you. We thank you for thy power and thy mercy and thy truth. God, you see these that's watching the program today. And I pray, my Father, my God, that you'll stretch forth your hand. You see those that are bound by sin and by sickness. Lord, those that are blind, those that are crippled, deaf and dumb, the alcoholic, oh God, I pray, my Father, my God, stretch forth your hand today. You foul devil that has them bound. I charge you, devil, loose them under the hula of a hunda. Loose them under in Jesus' name. And oh, Father God, I pray let them feel thy powers that moves upon them right now. We honor your Lord above life, above everything in Jesus' name. And oh, friends, arise. And praise God for the things that he has done for you and for the miracle that you have received today. Remember, write to us and tell us what God did for you. Also request a track tape. Behold, he comes quickly. And beware of the angel. I'm depending on you. Don't fail. God bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you. And until next week. You have just heard one of America's most loved evangelists, B. Medlin. For a real blessing to your heart, be sure to write to Evangelist B. Medlin, Post Office Box 6125, Akron, Ohio, 44312. That number again, Akron, Ohio, 44312, Post Office Box 6125. Evangelist B. Medlin, Post Office Box 6125, Akron, Ohio. That's zip again, 44312. Right today.